Hi. In your journey from research to business, it's very important to look at the differences between academia and entrepreneurship. We'll look at the differences between how you communicate in academic environments and how you communicate in a business environment. We'll also look at what elements in your research case are really un unique and how you see yourself as a researcher compared to how you see yourself as an entrepreneur. When communicating about your research in an academic environment, it's very important to be very detailed and have all the ins and outs of the research project included. You're the expert and you're used to communicating in a very detailed way. If you're looking for market opportunities, on the other hand, you'll have to leave out a lot of details and it's a very hard challenge for you as a trained academic to leave out all of the rigorous details. It takes a lot of experience to communicate to different stakeholders and be able to communicate the essence of the important parts of your research. You'll need this because they need to communicate about your case to other people. So it's important that your communication is able to withstand the granny proof test, which means, can you explain your project to your grandmother? And if she'll understand, a lot of other people will also understand. Let's give an example. I could say I researched the semiconductor properties and the photovoltaic behavior of copper indium gallium deselenide for building integrated photovoltaic modules. Not a lot of people will understand this, so they can't think along with you and they can help, can't help you to identify opportunities. A better way to put this would be, I researched the performance of new types of solar cells and the production process. This is something people can really understand and they can really imagine how this would benefit society. Now that you know how to communicate about what you're doing in your research, it's time to look at the real differences. What are you doing different compared to existing solutions in society? These differences are not so complex or challenging. It could be just that you're delivering a way of performing better, cheaper, easier. It shouldn't be really complex, but the differences are the core elements of your value proposition and the business model you're about to build. Last but not least, we'll have to talk about you. You as a researcher and you as an entrepreneur to be. Ask yourself some questions. Why did you start this research? And why did you choose this topic? If you want to be an entrepreneur, you'll need strong vision and ambition to land it, to land it into a successful way. Think of Elon Musk and his drive and his vision to transform the world to a place with more sustainable energy. To summarize, translate your research topic in a granny-proof sentence that everybody could understand. Look for the unique elements that really set your research apart and make it different, and think hard about your own ambition and skills as an entrepreneur to be.